Protesters on both sides of the abortion debate clash in Washington, D.C. in response to Barrett's SCOTUS nomination. One America's Emily Finn explains the backlash and support to Judge Amy Coney Barrett's nomination to the high court. The controversial issue of abortion is now at the forefront of the conversation surrounding who will fill the open seat on the Supreme Court. After President Trump's Saturday announcement nominating Judge Amy Coney Barrett to fill the vacancy on the Supreme Court, demonstrators took to the streets of Washington, D.C. to voice both support and opposition to the president's high-profile decision. Some pro-life advocates appeared optimistic about President Trump's pick, with hopes Barrett will defend Christian values on the high court. We are here supporting pro-life, and we are excited to see what she will do. It's definitely a change from having a liberal in the Supreme Court to having a more conservative Catholic um, who's able to speak out about our beliefs in the Supreme Court. Demonstrators said they are specifically interested to see a potential reversal of the landmark abortion decision in the Roe v. Wade case. We are having another woman in the Supreme Court to go against Roe v. Wade and to give more decisions and options to states. Um, I'm just very passionate about it. I'm excited to see what's about to happen in the world. A lot is about to change with this new nominee. And on the other side of the debate, pro-choice supporters attacked the president's decision, noting the stark contrast between Barrett and the late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. As someone of color, as a female, I hope this doesn't get through like it, like Trump always finds a way to get through the holes. I hope he doesn't this time because I would really like to see some real justice and someone to uphold RBG's legacy. With Barrett's record on abortion decisions now in the spotlight, the decision to fill the open seat on the Supreme Court is set to take its next step in the Senate. The Senate Judiciary Chairman, Senator Lindsey Graham, announced the confirmation hearings to consider the president's nominee will begin on October 12th and will last about three to four days. Emily Finn, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.